We all thought Spider-Man PS4 was the perfect Spider-Man game. There's no way Insomnia could top this, right? Spider-Man Miles Morales is everything Spider-Man PS4 was, but better. It takes everything that worked in the first game and dials it up and takes it to the nth degree. Everything that didn't work, like the MJ missions, was left out, leaving a game that capitalizes on its strengths, giving you an even better experience than the first game. The web swinging, the combat, the story, the music, even the goddamn photo mode has had improvements from the first game. And what happens when you improve a game that pre people already consider perfect? You get a masterpiece. The most important and vital aspect of the game's success was the story. Insomniac is dealing with a new character here, a character that is so important for representation, a character that doesn't have decades of source material, a character that has already had an Oscar-winning animated film. The bar was set so high, there was no way they could beat the Spider-Verse movie and do it better, right? But if you can't beat them, what do you do? You join them, and that's exactly what Insomniac did. They developed Miles Morales in a way that respects everything that came before it and gave us something new, building off of his previous stories. They skipped year one of being Spider-Man and jumped to year two, where Miles is a tiny bit more experienced, but still early enough where he's learning the ropes. However, the most important aspect is that he's now learning the ropes by himself. Peter has left, he's gone, and for the entirety of the game, he is in Simcaria away from New York, with the exception of the first mission, leaving Miles by himself to defend the city. New York's only Spider-Man. I'm New York's only Spider-Man. I previously said that the limits test for a successful story will be whether or not Insomnia can make Miles his own character, make him stand in his own light rather than linger in the shadow of Peter. I compared it to how the MCU has failed countless times trying to distinguish Tom Holland's Spider-Man from Iron Man, somehow always managing to keep him in his shadow rather than become himself. And Insomniac knew that this is what would make the story a hit or miss, and so they made the tagline for the game, Be Yourself. And that's exactly what Miles did. Just take a look at this amazing freaking scene where Genki and Miles makes a suit together themselves. Whenever you say Spider-Man, you always mean the other one. This is how you differentiate a character. The scene reminded me of the What's Up Danger scene from the Spider-Verse movie. Both of these scenes had Miles make the suit himself. He isn't handed suit after suit from Peter. He doesn't use Peter's tech even to make his suit. Both of which Tom Holland Spider-Man did, getting all his major suits from Tony Stark, and the one time he made his own suit, he basically used a character creator menu that Tony had built for him whilst playing ACDC in the background. I haven't even gotten into the actual story and I'll probably have to do another video dissecting everything, otherwise this video will be an hour long, but I will say that they nailed the story. Is the story better than Spider-Man PS4? Debatable. But what it did do right is make it deeply personal. Every character in this story is linked to Miles, with the exception of Simon Krieger, whose sole purpose was to be the most annoying character, just so it felt extra good when he was arrested. Yeah, we know who you are. Oh, you! Do you hear me? The Tinkerer was such a good character for the story, and whilst I find her motives questionable, there's no doubt that the fact her being Finn was genius. Finn is a lifelong friend of Miles, but the Tinkerer is a villain to Spider-Man. This is the collision of two worlds that Insomniac and Marvel games have been fanboying over and has made me fanboy over. When you find out that the Tinkerer is Finn, you get that same feeling you did when you found out that Vulture was Liz's dad, except that here they actually do something with this twist instead of having Liz just disappear. I almost shed a tear watching the final scene between Finn and Miles, reminding me of the Yondu and Quill scene from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I nerded out when I realized that the start of the final cutscene was the first thing that they ever showed us for the game in the first ever trailer, and I was jumping up and down when I saw that the end of the final cutscene was Miles walking down Harlem, a callback to the beginning of the game which started out with him walking up Harlem with the same song playing. The only thing I might have changed is that this time maybe he would have actually had the coconut milk which he was supposed to get for his mum at the beginning of the game, but I'll let Insomniac off this time. And in my opinion, the story was the weakest element of the game, and I still think it's absolutely amazing and spectacular. It's just that the web swinging, the combat, the graphics, the music, the side activities, even the freaking photo mode is absolutely incredible. I mean, just look at these shots. You can make your own artificial lights, change the color, intensity, distance, softness, spread, location. Like, whoever designed this deserves a pay raise. And the web swing, oh my god, I thought Spider-Man PS4 nailed the web swinging, 
But now I don't even want to play that game again because the swinging in this game is absolutely phenomenal. James Ham, senior animator, give yourself and tell everyone in your team to give themselves a pat on the back because you and all the animators have outdone yourselves with the air tricks. 30 freaking air tricks in this game. I can't imagine how long it would have taken to animate all of these and make sure that they seamlessly transition into the next swing. That means that they have to make sure that if the player presses the R2 button at any time during the air trick, it quickly and smoothly transitions from that point in the animation sequence into the next web swing. I don't know how you guys did it, but it's incredible. And now you also have the Venom abilities to Venom jump and dash mid web swing. I've got to do some testing, but I'm pretty sure Miles can go faster than Peter now if you're actually skilled at web swinging. Speaking of Venom abilities, the combat is so refined and fresh. When I started the game, it started off slow because you basically had no skills or any Venom powers, but that changed really quickly. Insomniac made sure to make the Venom super satisfying. Tell me what's more satisfying than using the gravity well to gather all the enemies to one spot and then doing a mega Venom blast wiping them all out. And did I mention how triumphant the music is? Like they've somehow made it orchestral, but also included that hip hop style. I mean, it sounds so different to Spider-Man PS4, but it still feels familiar, but but then very befitting to Miles. Apart from the game's soundtrack, This Is My Time by Lecrae and I'm Ready by Jaden are perfect for the game. Everything Miles is in just has fire music and I'm all for it. I will fight anyone that says that this game is anything short of a masterpiece. Is there room to improve? Yes, and I'm definitely going to make a very, very harsh video going through all the prob problems in this game. But you can't deny that this game is something special. Even just the simple side activities where you go and help a construction worker with their crane that's had ice build up on it. Like, they understand the character that they're working with. They don't try to run away from the friendly neighborhood aspect of Spider-Man like the MCU. They embody it literally calling Miles and Genki's app the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man app. It was just a joy to play through the game and it just excites me even more for Spider-Man 2 when we're probably going to see both of these Spider-Men go up against Venom, Lizard and maybe even Green Goblin. I really hope we get to play as both Peter and Miles because I want more. Alright, let me know what you guys thought of the game in the comments below. I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did then smash the like button and subscribe because over 90% of you guys are not subscribed right now and if you enjoy this content you'll enjoy what is to come it's completely free if you don't enjoy my future content you can always unsubscribe later i have so many videos planned there's so many things to talk about in this game i barely brushed over the surface of everything in this video so i hope you guys all have a great day and enjoy this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one i think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it we'll add it to the spider-man oath Go time? Go time. Final swing. Ah, what an amazing scene. What an amazing game. Holy crap, guys. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what... That was really, really good.